people told me and I told myself that I can't compete with people with PhDs and MBAs and years of corporate experience that I don't have. I can't develop the level of credibility that AT&T, Procter & Gamble's, McDonald Corporation, General Electric, IBM. I, I was earning at that time around $3,000 a month. And the person who trained me, Mike Williams, who wrote a book called The Road to Your Best Stuff, he said, the only reason you're making $3,000 a month is because you don't have the awareness and the sense of self-worth that you can get $5,000, $25,000 an hour. I just turned down an engagement in Ireland, and they offered me a rate of $175,000 for an hour. But my international rate is 225000 I remember the time if you offered me $175,000, I'd have my mama bake you a sweet potato pie. <laughs> I'd borrow all my children to clean your house. <laughs> but the reason that you're here is because your self-awareness, your self-approval, which drives your commitment. And when you are committed to changing your life, you engage in actions that you have some fulfillment, you accomplish some things, and you continue to be in an ongoing learning process. We, we are where Peter Drucker, he said, we must be willing to unlearn, learn, and relearn. In order for people to, to escape the matrix, they must unlearn the things that they've been indoctrinated with, unlearn the things that have been downloaded in them between ages zero and seven, based upon their environment, the people they see, the values that exist there, the culture that they're born in, it governs their behavior years later. And so what you're doing is saying, escape the matrix as speakers, as coaches, as entrepreneurs, what you do is distract, dispute, and inspire. How people live their lives is a result of the story they believe about themselves. So when you come and talk to someone about escaping the matrix, a life of mediocrity, you can't fit a big dream into a small mindset, that you distract them from their current story, and through your presentation, helping them to see the possibilities of having a new life. You dismantle their current belief system where they feel stuck and you inspire them to say, I'm gonna do something about this. I'm hungry for a new life because they begin to see their lives through your eyes. And as a result of that encounter, their lives will never be the same again. So if you like that clip, please watch this one right here. If you want to see the full podcast, click right here.